All right, this lesson is where we learn about arithmetic series. Now, I've mentioned series before. A series is a sum of a sequence. We've already looked at arithmetic sequences. The pattern is one where you add a common difference to move from term to term. So in this lesson, we're going to learn about how to add those up and solve problems with that. First of all, we're going to derive a formula for arithmetic series. We're going to let the symbol L be the T sub N, the last term, L for last term. Just makes it a little bit tidier for what we're going to do. So the sum of N terms then must be based on the first term, second term, third term, and so on, all the way to the nth term. If it's arithmetic, I can rewrite this. I'll write A. A2 would be A plus D. A3 would be A plus 2D and so on, all the way up to a sub n, which is a plus n minus 1 d's, which we looked at before. Now, I'm going to write the same progression, but this time I'm going to write it backwards, and we'll see why in a moment. So starting with the last term, the next term would be the last term minus a difference. The next term would be a last term minus two differences and so on, and I would end up at the first term. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add these two series together now, term by term, and we're going to see a pattern emerge. So the first series has A. Oh, I should write, by the way, if I'm adding the two series, I would have S plus S, so I would have two series sums. On the right, I would start with A, and then I would add L. The next term would be A plus D, and to that I would add L minus D, the second term from the second series. Next I would add A plus 2D, and I would add to that the third term from the other series, and so on, and I would finish with that's L, that's the last term, and A. Now, what's going to happen here, if I simplify this a little bit, I'm going to have A plus L plus A plus D minus D. Those cancel, so I'm left with an A plus L. And over here, the 2D and the negative 2D are going to cancel, so I'm left with an A plus L. And I progress like this all the way through. I'm just going to reverse the order on that with a whole series of A plus L. I will have this N times. You can think about why that would be. The sum itself then must be A plus L, the last term, multiplied out N times, because that's what I have, a sum of N of them, and I isolate so I divide by 2. This is a formula for the sum of an arithmetic series. It's based on the first term and the last term, divided by 2. So you can think of this as being like an average, multiplied by how many of the terms that there are. I'm going to refer to this as the first sum formula, because there is another one. I can remind myself that I know an expression for the last term. The last term is based on the first term and n minus 1 differences over 2 times n. So what I've done is I've just replaced L with the formula for the last term. And I can isolate by bringing that n and 2 out to the front. a plus a makes 2a and n minus 1d. This is how this is normally written. I'm going to call that b. It's another type of, GM, uh, of arithmetic series. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, the sum formula relates four values. If it relates four values, I need to know three of them in order to fall, solve for the fourth. Notice that formula A relates sum, first term, last term, and n, which I've listed here. And formula B relates sum, n, first term, and d. So there are a relationship of of different items here, and that's going to be important for problem solving. It depends on what we're given as to which formula that we use. Maybe I'll box these just to make it stand out a little bit for you. 
There's one formula, and there's the other formula. All right, so we're going to do some examples now to see how these formulas work. First up, find the sum of this, 3 plus 7 plus 11 plus so on, so on, so on, for 20 terms. Well, let's identify what things that we have. We know that a is 3. It's good to make a list. We know that the common difference is 4. We can observe that, 3 to 7 to 11 and so on. We're told there are 20 terms, and what we want is the sum. So A, D, N, and S. A, D, N, and S, that's B. We're going to want to use formula B. So let's write it down. The sum of N terms is N over 2, brackets, 2A, N minus 1, common difference D. Let's substitute our known values in there. I'm going to have 20 over 2. I'm going to have 2 times the a value of 3. I'm going to have 20 minus 1. That's my n value. And my common difference was 4. Okay. So this is 6. And this is 19 times 4. I'm going to need to make a little bit more space to finish up this problem. So I'll do that. <clears throat> okay. 20 divided by 2 is 10, 6, and 19 times 4 is 76. So 10 times 82. The sum is 820 for that particular series. So I used formula B there. Let's look at this one. Find the sum, 8 plus 11 plus 14 plus so on, so on, and so on, up to 101. So what's different here is they didn't tell me how many terms, but they did give me the last term. Identify what we know, and why don't you try to solve this and see how you do, and then after you've paused it and tried it out, come on back and see how I did it. Okay, I'm assuming that you've given this a try. Here we go. A is 8, D is 3, L, or T sub N, is 101. I want the sum. Now notice A, D, L, and S. A, D, L, and S. A, L, S, but I don't have N. I need to know how many terms there are. So problem B is a little bit trickier. For problem B, I need to get N. So I'm going to use the formula from the previous lesson. T sub N is A plus N minus 1 D, which relates any term or general term to the first term and n minus 1 common differences. So 101 equals 8 plus, I don't know n, common difference 3. Let's subtract 8 from both sides, 93, and let's divide by 3, that's going to be 31. So this tells me that n equals 32. Okay, so now that I have a, d, n, l, and I want s, I can use most any formula I want. Let's try using that other formula, a equal, or a plus l over 2 times n. Let's see how this one works. There's my first term, there's my last term. Divide by 2, multiply by the known number of terms of 32. All right, that's going to be 109. I need to add first. 32 divided by 2. I could do that calculation now. And I'm going to get my calculator and find out what 109 times 16 is. And I get 1,744 as my sum of 20, no, not 20 terms, 32 terms. All right, I got one more example to work through with you. Remember, sigma, I'd like you to evaluate this. Again, why don't you push pause, give it a try, and see how you do, and then check your work against mine in a moment once you've had a chance. Okay, here I go. We are going to start with 3. Remember before I said you don't have to start with 1. I wanted to give you an example to show you what that looks like. All right, there's my first term. Sigma means sum, so I'm going to put a plus there. Here's my next term. And I'm going to keep going like that. Now, there's quite a lot of terms. I'm not going to show them all, but I am going to show a few of them, and I'm definitely going to show the last one just to be clear. Let's simplify underneath here. This term is 5, this term is 7, and so on. 
I may want to do one more term actually, since I only have two. I'm, I'm going to show a little bit more work because I'm wondering what sort of a progression that I have. I don't want to assume something. Okay, so I'm going to show one more term. And that's my last one. Okay, this term is 9. Okay, now I have a clearer idea. This is 33. So 5 to 7 to 9, this is arithmetic. I have a equals 5. I have d equals 2. You might want to ask yourself, how could you determine the common difference of 2 just by looking at the sigma notation? My last term is 33, and n is the ending number minus the starting number, add 1. So 15 terms in this progression. All right, the sum of 15 terms. Uh, let's use the a plus l over 2 times n. So 5, 33, divide 2, multiply by 15 terms, and that's going to be 38 over 2 times 15, or 19 times 15, and that's a pretty messy 9. Let's get the calculator and find out what 19 times 15 is. It's 285, and there you go. There's several examples to help you out. Good luck with the lesson.